Texas is much like America. They have demographic changes that are taking place, but the thing to remember, future American politics is this. We have always looked at politics as a kind of how whites vote and how non-whites vote. The big story is division among whites. Uh, there are people that have an algorithm that says that Texas is gonna turn blue in October the 11th at 11.32 a.m. Precisely, I mean, I, you know, who knows? But I, I think it's probably gonna be a little bit quicker because you're just seeing this divide so pronounced uh, among whites by education and particularly by gender. To me, the most fascinating thing about Texas politics is this. Back in the 70s, when Texas started to turn red, the, the, the districts that first went Republican were districts like the west side of Houston and the north side of Dallas. Now, a good chance on election night that the Democrats take back these two kind of originally strong Republican districts because they both share kind of the same characteristic. They're both highly educated and uh, are not particularly enamored with President Trump and they're both trending more and more Democratic. These are some things you, you want to concern yourself with. What is turnout going to be in the Valley? The Valley is the Rio Grande Valley, that's South Texas. In Bear County and in those suburban where you have a lot of educated people, they got to really outperform where, what they've traditionally done. You know, same thing in Harris, same thing in Dallas County, same thing in Tarrant County, Travis County. I mean, that, that's where they're gonna have to rock and roll. It's so good to see you and be with you. In terms of Beto O'Rourke, uh, it's long been the dream of Democrats that someone would come along and, and sort of energize the state and change the, the equation. And let's face it, he's doing it. Do I know that, that he's going to win uh, the 2018 Senate race against Ted Cruz? No, I don't know that. And most seasoned prognosticators say that, that, that the numbers are not just there for him. Uh, I won't argue with that. I don't know what the numbers are going to be on election day. But I, I think the one thing you got to get better right, Texas statewide politics is not going to be the same after him. We're going to have BB and AB, before Beto and after Beto. Beto's going to be one of these rare people in politics that even if they lose, their impact is going to be pretty dramatic.